like I want to in the work I'm doing in the lifetime living like honor those who came before me I want to honor myself and I want to recognize my own like personal power and use it like in a really beautiful important way that supports others my name is Elisa Sicalianos Carter and I'm a mixed media painter I definitely started when I was little I was always like drawing and and then I went to college for a year. I did not do any art stuff. I felt like it wasn't um, viable. And then I had a daughter and I continued to make art and like making art for her and like puppets. When I was 30, that's when I decided to just like really do it. My work is very material driven and I'm really excited and like activated by the different very like opulent material I use. So it's like a way to just get to like explore that and play with that and also to just display this being. Like I want the viewer to get to just see these figures like in pose. It doesn't have to have like the kind of loaded storytelling. It's just, this is just an image of this being in this world that I'm creating in this mythology. Because I imagine like as they, as they jump and then like they're falling or tumbling through the water, like then they transform. Like there's like this sort of instant transformation where they are able to exist. I'm imagining that they are these like ancient sort of beings that have already been here and they're like they're like gonna inform or like tell the story to these these new beings who have just like arrived. And I think about the tendrils. In all my work, obviously hair is like a huge part of it. There's just like this energy and movement in I'm always illustrating that. Hair is a power symbol. In black culture, it's absolutely a power symbol, and it's so versatile, it's so beautiful, and it's so significant. You know who we are, like, on first look. I think I just love the idea of, like, specifically focusing on hair in that way. Beauty, it's, like, really important to me. It's, like, seductive or something. Like, there's something about that, like, draws you in where it's, like, glitter and glamour and, like, lushness. The idea of, like, gold just, like, floating by. Everything we need is there. Like we're not like wanting for anything. It's just like all available. These beings like have left this world because of, depending on who you are, you like perpetuating like this, like racism, you know, like we're like, we're out, we're like, we're leaving and we're like gonna like protect ourselves. And you don't get to like be a part of that depending on who you are. I just have started thinking about like that sort of powerful imagery and really putting like real magic into the, the work. When I say magic, I mean like the manipulation of energy. As far as like making the imagery, it's like I have a lot more work to make to kind of to, to really draw that out. I'm really happy that I'm here at Next Haven. Like I'm really happy that like this year like was the year that all this happened to go down and that I was here because I, I felt very taken care of and like supported um, in being here. I've grown so much. I've like learned so much about myself and I feel like just really lucky that my, you know, like my, my community has grown. And so I, I like really love that, that I like get to have like this community forever basically.